They're actually desensitizing our youth and they're actually glorifying evil. Something that's fascinating to me and was brought up in this video of a woman saying that Cruella de Vil is satanic and that we shouldn't be bringing our children to it is how focused a lot of evangelical Christians are on demonic presence. Yeah, let's, let's dig into this. Sometimes I wonder if Christians actually realize just how far up the backside of their religion their perceived enemy is. They live in a world in which they are hyper-focused on identifying and avoiding the boogeyman. Unfortunately, this process, for better or for worse, creates a people who, have, who are hyper-focused on finding evil in everything. Their perspective on life becomes skewed and everything becomes evil. So they begin to see the world through a distorted lens. And in the end, they're hyper-focused on everything but themselves. They identify boogeymen in things that aren't even evil to the point they burn up and burn, burn out those who are trying to follow their religion because they get tired of being hyper-focused on things that aren't evil and under-focused on things that really are. And these ideologies and practices and ways of being, in the end, creative people who see Cruella de Vil, the film, as evil, but see nothing evil about a man being strangled in the street by a police officer. And in fact, in the end, they find that those actions of that police officer are excusable. They see a philanderer, a liar, and a cheater as the one who's chosen by God. And a man who has a middle name of Hussein and last name of Obama as evil and obviously the spawn of Satan. This is truly Luciferian logic. And this is why people are, le are leaving the church. It's because evil has become good and good has become evil.